So what's going on guys, make here with Drag Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So this video I believe is going to interest those people who have a wired connection for the Android Auto Apple CarPlay head unit which I have something like this right here. So I have this product from Carlinkit. So a big thanks to them for actually sending out a review unit for me to test out and give you my honest opinion. So what this does is basically a dongle which you plug into the USB port of your head unit and it will convert your existing head unit to become a wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay head unit. So this feature is really convenient because you can put your phone anywhere. You do not have to keep on plugging in the lightning cable or a USB-C cable to your device. So basically you just get into the car, you start it, and it connects to your device seamlessly. So I've actually done a couple of days testing with this Carling kit dongle. And I've got to say that those reviews that said wireless android auto apple carplay head units or generally connections are spotty which means they are inconsistent but this has proven to be not the case this has been really really consistent especially when connecting to my iphone 12 pro all right so before i begin the unboxing and review of this dongle right here a sub to the channel would definitely be awesome and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which i post so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing and review of the carling kit dongle all right guys so just like in almost all my tech videos i do have to do an unboxing of the device itself and show you what comes in the packaging of course i did put it back in the box to show you how it actually looked like when i first got it of course there was a string wrap over it and i took it out so first you have a picture of the device itself really really small it's in fact smaller than an airpods key so it gives you a rough idea on how the size is and it's really slim as well let's see on the side we get carling kit on both sides and on the back basically the same thing okay let's slide the sleeve out let's see what we have here so we have to slide the lid out and once that is done we get a user manual which shows you how to basically use it but it's a plug and play item so it's really simple and you get a USB-C to USB-A cable and of course the dongle itself that's about it that comes in the packaging so the dongle itself you have these uh, air vents right here so the air vents actually helps the device to stay cool and on the bottom you get a USB-C connector because this use USB-C which is really really awesome and I think many Android users already have a USB-C cable with them so I believe that this actually is a very future proof I wish this came with also a lightning connector but USB-C is fine with me on the back you get a small little hole which I initially thought was a um, reset button but it actually is an LED to show you whether you're connected so red for uh, disconnected and green for connected so pretty good uh, there's no reset button here however so i'm not sure how to actually reset this device if anything does happen touch wood so all you need to do is just get this usb-c cable plugged in to the bottom let's shift over to my heat unit and i'll show you guys how the whole process is all right guys so now i'm going to have this dongle plugged into the usb port of my heat unit and see what happens so there should be an led at the back i should start giving you some notifications so you can see this red for not connected you can see loading and there's apple carplay right here so it's pretty good you can see okay let's see what happens i just switched it over from my honda civic so it will take some time you can see auto connecting because i've already pre-connected it through bluetooth this is a bluetooth connection you see you plug it in and just uh, give it a couple of seconds to actually start up and connect to your device of course it's not as fast as plugging in the lightning cable or the usb-c cable to your device but it is a trade-off definitely all right let me pause the music so you can see the latency is definitely obvious you get like a second delay but overall it's okay i mean you're not really going to be pausing music in your car you're going to be letting it play in the background you're going to be fiddling with the volume controls rather than pressing pause all right so let's test out cv since it's one of the highlighted features of this dongle that it supports cv so let's try it out play ncs on spotify here's ncs infinity by various artists on spotify you can see it does as advertised so that's pretty good of course there were some occasions where i did have to try it twice 
But so far so good, I never had to actually repeat it twice. All right, so let's try it out Waze because I've been using Waze as a, on the daily and uh, it's been so far reliable. Let's go into search. Let's go to Genting Highlands for example. Let's see how long it takes. You can see right here. Of course, I'm on 4G. It depends on your network connection as well. So it's not just a dongle. I believe that Waze doesn't have any lag so far from my testing. Of course, uh, Spotify does have lag, but other than that, I didn't feel that any delays with uh, navigating through the UI. You can see right here, Waze works. You can see navigating through the UI is as responsive as plugging in your device. So for my part, I think it's good because it's not taking away any of the functionality of your Apple CarPlay head unit. So do I recommend this dongle right here? Yes, I do recommend it if you are willing to sacrifice slight latency definitely this dongle is the way to go this retails on amazon for 109 us dollars i'll leave it in the description below if you're interested to pick that up this is also available on lazada as well not sure on shopee but on lazada so i will leave the link also in the description below if you're interested to pick one of these up if you're in malaysia but for international viewers you can use the amazon link to actually purchase this and um, so far this has been really really promising of course i'll give it a couple more days of uh, testing before I do my full review. But so far, this has been really good. I've been using it for the last couple of days and it has never failed on me once. And I've been switching over from my Volkswagen to my Honda as well. And it's been really seamless. Of course, when you do switch over to another car, it takes a while for it to recalibrate. But once that is done, there's no issues. So everything works as advertised, which is really good for a device this small. And of course, the cost of this is much lesser than replacing a whole head unit just to get the wireless functionality of Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So this has been a really quick video. I hope you guys like it. If you do like it, do hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.